I don't like to open my mouth unless it's like super needed. I don't like to start drama and whether people like it or not, they have to hear it. Today is a really exciting day. Holy crap. So if you guys saw my last vlog about my good news, you know that I'm making my own signature fragrance and it's coming out with my album in the fall. My album comes out in October, Beautiful Mess. I've been promoting it. And my fragrance comes out early November or late October. All of season four of my show Blood Queens revolves around my fragrance. I have a little sample of it right here. But needless to say, tonight is my photo shoot for the fragrance. Um, I'm super, super excited. I'm going to bring you guys behind the scenes with me to the photo shoot. I don't have nails on these two fingers and that's okay because in the photo shoot, I'm literally going to be holding a cake in this hand. Um, so you kind of can tell like what it's going to smell like when I tell you that. You guys who watch me know I would never make a perfume that does not smell sweet. I was unable to get in to get a refill on my nails before this photo shoot, but that's okay. I'm not even using this hand in the picture. But but yeah, the one hand that you will see does have nails on. So yeah, I get my nails done next week. I'm super excited about that. Um, and yeah, this is a little sample of my perfume. We finalized it. I get a big plain bottle of this next week to just spray around and just like get used to it and show my friends. This is just a tiny little sample. The actual bottles are gonna be pretty big and they're beautiful. You guys can assume what it'll look like, but kind of not because you've never seen a perfume bottle that's gonna look like my perfume. But anyways, I just got my lashes done by my friend Abby. If you guys watched my face reveal video, you'll remember she's like a little antique fairy like me and loves vintage anything. And I'm actually sitting outside of an antique shop right now because she told me while she was doing my lashes, she was raving about this antique shop. And obviously I'm gonna take her advice. Do you, I mean, did you see her house? Colin and I's anniversary our five-year anniversary is next week and we love to get each other like timeless gifts and like gifts that are just like unique and romantic and I felt like what better place than an antique shop and to be honest I'm kind of in the mood to explore a new antique shop I also could use a pick-me-up because last night we had a scare with Lily like she couldn't walk she was dragging her right leg and we thought the worst I mean she's 14 so yeah this morning Colin and I took Lily to the vet before I went and got my lashes done and she's okay it just turns out she dislocated her knee and the vet took care of that I'm also cross vlogging in this Vlog. Hey guys, it's Colin. So right now, Lily got back from the vet. Um, I just picked her up, she's okay. We have some medicine for her. Oh, that's so sad. There's like a puppy on a stretcher. I know, you wanna go home. Um, but in order to make Gabby feel better, me and Lily are gonna set up a tent in her very like back backyard. She has like this nice like woodsy area. So I'm gonna go set up a tent and then she's at an eyelash appointment right now. And when she gets back, yeah, so hopefully when she gets back from her eyelash appointment, we can have a nice little camping night um, and a little date and Lily can join us in the tent because she has to rest anyway. Me and Gabby are gonna start cross vlogging a lot more. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me and her together. And we're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff. We have um, some stuff planned um, for like our next, I would say, couple of months or a year plan. We have something like really special. So you'll be seeing some more of that. Also before I head in, I just want to disclose for those of you who follow me on social media, no, I've been really, really struggling with my skin specifically in the last week or two. I think it's stress because I've been taking on a lot of projects lately and just like staying busy and I've never really broken out like over here before. I have been managing my skin. My skin was a lot worse earlier in the week and in my Hamptons vlog, but I've been managing it and I've done some things with my skincare routine that I wanna show you guys when I get back to the house because I am gonna wash my face before I start my makeup for the perfume shoe. Right, guys so this is the tent that i have set up for gabby oh there's deers running around but this is the tent and uh it's in this really pretty like woodsy area we actually filmed gabby's mama mia music video back here but yeah i have the tent set up for us so inside you know we have like all our blankets and stuff kind of romantic like surprise for her so that's what we're going to be doing tonight I just got home and someone is feeling better. She has like a little bracelet around her neck. Her left foot hurts, so she's not putting any weight. Look at, look, she has a little shave patch where they got blood or something. Look, 
Are you copied feel, of feel. work, mama? So I got you an anniversary present. I didn't show the vlog because, in case you watch the vlog. Is it for our anniversary though? Yeah, it's for next week. Oh, it's not for now. No. I'm gonna go wash my face. I'm gonna show you guys the skincare I was doing to clear my skin, and then Colin and I are gonna go get lunch, and then I'm gonna start getting glam for the perfume shoot. Oh my goodness. Mama. I also have a surprise for you, but it's not uh, for our anniversary. It's for tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Set up a tent so we can go camping tonight because oh. you were worried about Lily. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be fun. We have our own little, like, little private. I put it in the backpack. Okay, it's so not in the backyard. That's amazing. What? Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe Lily can join us. Oh, yeah, she she would love to sleep in a tent. Are you kidding? Okay, guys, so I'm in my bathroom, and I got a new skincare fridge. My Kylie Jenner one broke. This is so much more spacious, and it fits, like, near all my bathroom stuff so much better. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the skincare I've been doing to clear up my face. And, yeah. Also, look at this adorable Love Shack fancy towel. I have a huge Love Shack fancy haul coming to you in this vlog. If you guys watched my Hamptons vlog, you would remember I bought so much stuff from Love Shack fancy. So, this is just one of them. This is a sneak peek. Okay, guys, so I'm going to explain. So, as you can see, I have a pimple here, 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 here. Picture of what my skin looked like a week ago. I have done something a little different with my skincare to make these like pimples and acne go away so as i said earlier i think i'm a little too stressed out and on top of it i have been getting my makeup done a lot with different makeup artists when you're trying new foundations and getting your makeup done with unfamiliar foundations or concealers um makeup brushes that have been on other people's faces stuff like that um i feel like you shouldn't be using a gentle cleanser and that's what i was doing all throughout all of that i was just using gentle cleansers so instead of my gentle foaming cleanser that i've shown you guys in multiple videos this summer that i've been using I'm gonna jump back to my face cleanser that I made on the Mix Easy website. I just wanna let you guys know another thing that I did that I haven't done in a while. I cleaned my Duval Brilliant Spin Care System brush head and this has been clearing my face up. So this and this brush, I'll link everything down below but it comes with a body brush, a file, a pumice, and another cleansing head. And I have a code GD Black for 75% off. I'll put it right here. So I'm just gonna wet my face and then I'm gonna wet the brush. I made this myself. I made the fragrance Milk and Honey. It smells like a breakfast parfait. A lot of makeup artists working on my face with different products and different brushes. I feel like that's what made the change happen. So yeah, once I got back into the swing of things and started using my own makeup and my own skincare, my skin has been clearing up. Let me know in the comments down below if this has ever happened to you guys. Also, if you have problematic breakouts, I know I see this in like every vlog, but this and the Mix Easy skincare, that combo together is a holy grail and perfect for clearing skin. If you guys didn't know, it's a website where you DIY your own skincare. It's like a DIY Lush. It walks you through like like ingredients and what does what for your skin. You get to say what skin type you are. I feel like it works a lot better than just buying something on the shelf when I'm having problems with my skin. I've never ever had this problem before with my skin. So I'll keep you guys posted, but this has been helping so far. I see huge, huge difference from last week. This is what took care of my skin when I was having breakouts in 2014. I've been using this for four years. Traveled to the Hamptons without this. Just everything added up, that's why. I broke out. If you guys want to do DIY skincare and go on the Mixed Easy site, I have a coupon code FANCY for 20% off. Like I said, I'm linking everything down below. So the last thing I'm going to do before I take a bath and get ready for the perfume shoot is apply my DIY face cream from Mixed Easy. It smells like a parfait. I chose the same scent, milk and honey. It smells divine. I'm just going to add a little bit of my Mario Badesco drying lotion on my problem areas. And we're gonna go take a bath. Well, you're not gonna see me naked, but I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna show you guys what's on my little bath rack. Um, I'm gonna be using my Feelin' Fresh Calming Coconut Hibiscus Bath Soak. I do have my Sanctuary Body Wash from Altered State. It's one of my favorite scents ever. And I'm gonna add some serendipity to the bubble bath as well. So I'm gonna have a little bath. Hey guys, so I went and got my nails fixed. After I took a bath, my nail tech told me she had an opening, so I ran there and squeezed it in. So I got my nails done super short because I still have to finish writing Blood Queens tonight over there in my own little corner. I'm gonna finish writing it tonight, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick before I start my makeup that I got this new like creamer and it literally straight up smells like 
funfetti cake batter. It smells so good. I just mixed a little of that in there into my coffee and now I'm gonna start my makeup. Okay, don't judge me, but I spill all my coffee on my pants. But I'm gonna give you guys this Love Shack Fancy haul that you guys were waiting for in the last vlog. But yeah, my last vlog, you guys wanted to see a Love Shack Fancy haul, so I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I got. Okay, so this was everything in those bags. I'm gonna start to the left and work my way to the right. So this is this lavender, like, sorry, this is bagel spice. I also got it when I was in the Hamptons. Um, <laughs> I got this quarter length sleeve, like long sleeve shirt. Like it's long sleeves on me, but it's meant to be quarter length sleeves. I got a large so I could wear it as like a beach cover up. I love the little lavender flower right there. I also got the puff sleeve crop top of the bow shirt. I got this beautiful, beautiful blush pink basket purse. And I never ever saw this purse online. I only saw it in the store. But I was thinking like, how cute of an Instagram picture would that be? Like that's gonna be taken, I promise. I also got this beautiful light pink and white striped top. I feel like it's just such a cute little night shirt. And then I got this sweater that says fancy on it. Like, hold up, they have a sweater that says fancy. I mean, I'm not surprised because it's Love Shack fancy, but that is just so cute and it fits the channel to a T. I also got a plain white frilly looking skirt. I just feel like, you know, it could go with anything. And then last but not least, I got this tangerine colored sweater. I'm already preparing for the fall time. You guys know for pumpkin season, pumpkin spice season, I love this color. So that mixed with like Henry Bendel stripes is just Gabooine. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for Gabooine. So I'm just chilling outside in my yard and I'm about to go to the shoot. This is what my hair looks like when I took it out. I just felt like addressing some things because I don't like to open my mouth unless it's like super needed. I don't like to start drama and I don't like to turn these videos negative because I want them to be a happy place. I always say that. But there comes a time where you just have to say something and whether people like it or not, they have to hear it. So my last video, I announced good news, which was this, the fragrance. And almost every single comment on that video, almost every single comment, you can go look, is, uh, I thought she was gonna say she's pregnant or engaged. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should. I post about this on my story sometimes. It's just annoying how a lot of girls my age or people see my age, oh, she's 25, where's the ring, where's the baby? No. Where I am at in life is a very happy place. I'm thriving with work and I love my job. My hobby has thankfully become my job and it's making life so awesome for me in my 20s. With that being said, I am so in love. We've been together for a very long time, as you know, but we are also moving at our pace and not our subscribers pace, not our followers pace. With that being said, when I say I have good news, 
it really is disheartening and disappointing and super unmotivating when i see people are actually genuinely disappointed it's a fragrance launch and not a pregnancy or an engagement some women like i'll literally click on their profile and it'll say wife 22 children names and i'm like and they're the ones pressuring me like this fragrance or having a line of anything of my own let alone a fragrance is one of the biggest dreams of my life and it just sucks that so many women are still programmed like it's the 1950s like they have to buckle down and get married and pop babies right now or they're not socially accepted colin and i will get married on our own watch at our own time i will have babies when i'm ready when i feel like what i have to do for myself is over and if it happens before that then it happens and i'll be a great mother but it just is so discrediting that me announcing really really good news or at least it is to me is making some women disappointed that i am not pregnant like that is just like, if, even if you are disappointed, why would you bother commenting and saying that? Every woman is on their own path in life, and I'm on Gabby's path. I'm on my own path. I, I'm not living for anyone else. So these marriage and baby comments have to stop. Like, I'm not even vlogging my five-year anniversary this weekend because I know all the comments are going to say that. I've barely been posting Colin on this channel and on my Instagram because of those comments. Ugh. We used to cross vlog all of February and March and then like we started seeing like so many comments like that and that's the reason we stopped cross vlogging. I, I don't want to have to stop doing something we both love. We love to vlog together so we are going to continue vlogging together. I'm just really really sick and tired of those comments. Whether I get engaged tomorrow or the week after or in three months or in three years, that's my life. That's that's on my watch. That's that's not gonna happen because of a comment. And I love your support with our relationship. Don't get me wrong and please don't take this as an attack. So this is to all those women that are my age who are trying to enforce their lives on me. I live a completely different life and it'll happen when it's supposed to happen, when God wants it to happen. Also, I'm the girl in the relationship. So what is telling me you should get married now? Like, what is that gonna do to me? Is it like, you think I'm gonna get down on my knee and propose to Colin? That's a moment he wants to have. I, I shouldn't even have to explain that. It's just like, I don't understand some women's logic when they're like, why aren't you engaged yet? Believe it or not, when you're my age, some women become super degrading about it. Like, as if it's like a self-worth or self-value kind of thing to like have a ring on your finger. That's my TED talk for this vlog. And I just put together a bag of props for my shoot. Colin and I are gonna head out. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the shoot. And I'm sorry if this sounded mean at all. Okay guys, so I think that's a wrap on this shoe. We got some really dope picks. Um, you know, this makeup is a little intense, but I guess I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the night when I go camping, cause like, why not? Scare off the animals. Hey guys, so before the vlog ends, I just wanna let you guys know, even though Fancy Vlogiversary is now over, the next FaceTime contest is the Contest Club. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a contest I'm hosting. Basically, you have to keep up a Stan Twitter or Instagram page, keep up a theme and use the hashtag The Contest Club. And a lucky winner on the last day of filming, September 10th, is going to get a FaceTime call from the Blood Queens Club cast. If you guys don't know what the Blood Queens Club is, it's season four of my show, Blood Queens. So yeah, I'm going to be posting a flyer on socials and I'll see you guys. See you in my next fancy vlog. Make sure to let me know if you guys are entering the Contest Club.
Bye.